and welcome back to another episode of Tequila Forever, Forever Tequila. I got another tequila coming out of 1146, that's a Tequileña Distillery. Now this one is Don Fulano Extrañejo Imperial. So the owner of this tequila is Sergio Mendoza, which is um, Enrique Fonseca's nephew. So I believe he just owns the brand and the master distiller is Enrique Fonseca. So anyways, and this is aged for a minimum of five years, no additives. And I was uh, looking at their website. The website says that, you know, this is, you know, blended from dark European oak and, you know, Aloroso Sherry cask. But, you know, right behind the bottle, you know, what it says is uh, French limousine and never cast, uh, you know, that were selected from uh, their seller. So, which one? Don't know, don't care. What matters is if the tequila is good or not. So this could be the first time that I try this. Go ahead and crack this open. Anyways, um, I guess one thing that I never really do is, you know, show you guys the bottle. I think it's very rare that I do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So it's a ceramic bottle. It's a nice, cool bottle. And this is the side of it. And this is the back. Wow. And if you, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but that's the cap. And that's the pop to it. So check it out. You know, it's a nice dark color. And remember, this has no additives. Oh, it's a really nice color. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but it um, it coats the glass really nice. I'm starting to get a little bit of tears coming down. So, it's a really nice color. So, anyway, let's start off with this aromas. Wow. I like it, it smells really, really, really good. You know what this tequila reminds me of? Um, it reminds me a little bit of, uh, well, the aromas, let's just say, reminds me a little bit of uh, two years ago. Because I get like that grape, and that prune aroma on it. So I'm getting like, you know, prunes, grape. I get some agave, getting some caramel, vanilla, like some cherries, cinnamon, and I think a little bit of like barrel spice. And I'm also getting some fruit. I'm getting some fruit. I'm getting some really nice aroma. Like some really nice aromas in this one. I can definitely say this is going to be a, a complex tequila. So let's get down to to the taste, right? The tasting. Mm, can you even some raisins? So let me say that this tequila reminds me of Tears of Yorona a lot. Not only, you know, about the aromas, but on the taste as well. You know, you get layers of flavor on this one as well. Mm. 
So I'm getting a, um, so I can taste, you know, some grapes, the agave, prunes, and a little bit of pepper. I'm getting the cinnamon. I'm getting like some toffee, some cherries. I'm getting some chocolate. I'm getting uh, you know, notes of fruit, some cloves. You know, I, I do get a little bit of heat. And you know, to me, it tastes a little bit, also has like a little bit of dryness to it as well. You know, I really like this. Um, yeah, I'm curious, to see, you know, I'm curious to know if anybody, you know, agrees with what I'm saying. Um, that it has some similarities to, you know, Tears of Girona. You know, they're both in the same distillery, two different master distillers, of course. One is uh, Germán González. And this is, uh, you know, Enrique Fonseca, you know, but uh, Enrique, you know, as I've talked about in other videos, um, you know, was a farmer, I believe, you know, before he became a, a master distiller, he's been a farmer for like over four decades. And that's who uh, Herman Gonzalez picks up his uh, agaves, that's who he gets his agaves from. It's a really, really nice, nice tequila, you know. I, I have to say that I am very surprised. You know, I've seen this tequila many, many times, and um, you know, just for whatever reason, it really caught my attention. You know, I've tried the añejo, um, but I'm glad that you know I decided to give it a shot this time because it is a well-made tequila. You know, and it's coming out of a you know a respectable uh, distillery. The master distiller, you know, very knowledgeable and as a guy is. Definitely knows what he's doing. So I, I would say in tequila match if I had to rate this tequila. I would I would rate this easily uh, a ninety. I would give this a ninety, you know. And I believe the original price years ago, this was like 120. Now this is running about 150, you know, to 170. Some places even 200. Um, but I think for like 150, you know, on, on average, depending of course uh, where you purchase, I think this is an amazing tequila. Definitely something you want to keep on the shelves. That's one, one second. trying to get more of that more of the agave more cherries you know fruit I think like some 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 dried apricot and right now I taste it right when it hits your tongue it's it's sweet it's you know it's it's a it's like a candy you know, it just, it's, it feels, uh, it feels creamy, you know, it's a, it's a little bit thick, and it feels creamy, I absolutely love it, I think, you know what, I'm gonna go with, uh, 91, I'll break this into Kilo Match, you know, it's is a uh, well-made tequila, I'm glad I, I purchased it. So, thank you very much. Have a good night. Salute.